The search for Kyron Horman started on June 4, 2010. The second grader was last seen at Skyline School in northwest Portland. His stepmother snapped this photo of Kyron standing in front of his project at the school's science fair. When the seven-year-old didn't arrive home later that afternoon, a phone message went out to parents around Portland. Skyline second grader Kyron Harmon did not arrive home from school today. For days, the FBI and local police coordinated what would be one of the largest search efforts in state history, with more than 1,300 people looking for the little boy. Publicly, his blended family would stand united, pleading for help. But privately, they started to doubt one of their own. Kyron's stepmother, Terry Horman, would later confirm she had failed lie detector tests. And in mid-June, police passed out a questionnaire asking if people had seen Terry Horman or the family's white truck the day her stepson disappeared. Then, a bombshell. Kane Horman, Kyron's dad, abruptly filed for divorce and later revealed that police had shared information that made him believe Terry Horman was not only involved in Kyron's disappearance, but she'd also tried to hire a man to kill her estranged husband. Terry Horman hired a defense lawyer and moved to Roseburg. Court papers from the divorce later revealed Terry Horman had been sexting with another man shortly after Kyron disappeared. As July became August, a grand jury started hearing sworn testimony from Terry Horman's friends. No charges were filed. Then, in August 2012, two years after the boy's disappearance, Kyron's biological mother filed a civil lawsuit against Terry Horman. The civil suit was later dropped. In 2014, a judge denied Terry Horman's request to change her name, citing the ongoing criminal investigation. Terry Horman moved to California and has appeared on national television and in magazines to declare her innocence. Over the years, police have conducted searches and released age progression images of the missing boy. But Kyron Horman has never been found. Terry Horman could not be reached for comment. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office said, quote, the investigation is continuing, end quote. Tomorrow, we'll have an interview with Kyron's mother, Desiree Young, starting at 6 a.m. She has some very interesting things to add to the investigation.